New day, new creepypasta. This time we're going for... Oh, this one's a classic one. Lavender Town Syndrome. Uh, this is one of the first creepypasta stories so, f uh, so far, and I think the only one in the entire month that is not based off of an actual character. This is actually meant to be based off of the melody that plays in Lavender Town sy Syndrome in the original Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow. But, I think that's enough for the intro. Let's get into the actual backstory. Somewhat. Alright, I think it's about time we get into this backstory of what is essentially known as Lavender Town Syndrome, which is supposed to be based off of the little melody that plays for Lavender Town in the original Pokemon Red, Blue, Yellow on the Game Boy. Not any of the remakes whatsoever, whether it was in Gold, Silver, Crystal on the Game Boy Color, Fire Red, Leaf Green, Game Boy Advanced, or Harkle Soul Silver on the DS, or let's go Pikachu or Eevee on the Switch. It has to be specifically the red, blue, yellow cartridge for the original Game Boy. All right, let's do this. This creepypasta story has many names, known as Lavender Town Syndrome, the Lavender Town, uh, Lavender Town Conspiracy, the Lavender Town Tone, and the Lavender Town Suicide. It was created when there was a mass suicide from Japanese teenagers after listening to the first version of the Lavender Town song from the Pokemon Red and Green games. That's also another thing I forgot. I forgot about Pokemon Green, but that was Jap uh, Japan uh, exclusive at the time. Back on February 27th, 1996, there was a high peak of suicides. From 7 to 12 ages, children would commit suicide right after the release of the Pokemon Red and Green games. When it was realized what happened, the phenomenon was called the Lavender Town Syndrome. This is because when players would reach the Lavender Town section of the game, a certain song was heard. Adults and older people could not hear this tone due to the fact the high frequency was heard only by children. Their ears weren't fully developed so they could hear high pitches in the song. This high pitch drove around 200 children to commit suicide. Many had different ways of ending their lives with the common one being to hang themselves or throw themselves off a high building. Wow! Those who didn't commit suicide complained about the ringing in their ears and acted abnormally. Almost all the children developed illnesses and other health problems, however in the modern adaptation of the game the developers had changed the frequency and tone to prevent risks for future players. Years later in 2010 a video was uploaded on YouTube. Someone used software to analyze the song. When the software was used, the song was created, had created an image of the unknown. This confused others because Unknown didn't appear until Generation 2 games, Silver, Gold, and Crystal. Not only that, when translated, the Unknown spelled Leave Now. Now, unfortunately, because this is based off of a musical creepypasta, I'm not, there's obviously no fan art to go along with this, but I will go ahead and pull up Possibly the original tone. Just give it a listen.
trying to I'm trying to decipher this. And that melody is what drove people is what drove all those kids insane. Okay, look. I may I may be 22 years old. And my ears are fully developed at this point, unlike those unfortunate kids back then. But I still have pretty good hearing whenever it, whenever need be. So I'm able to pick up some really good pitches, but... Honest? I think it's just my mental... I think it's just my mental stage. Like, I can, I can hear the pitches just as fine as... Uh, kids would probably be able to hear them but i think it's just my the stage of uh the state of my mentality that prevents me from going insane from that hey you yes you behind the camera thanks for sticking around to the end hey this entire month of october 2022 there's going to be one creepy pasta video a day throughout the entire month so if you don't want to miss the chance of catching the next one being uploaded Make sure to hit the subscribe button down below, ring the bell for notification. And if you really liked this video, make sure to leave a like on the video as well. Put a comment down below, tell me what you thought of it. But other than that, I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.